Hello everyone, this is ProPokeNew back today with some more Creeper commentary. I uh, originally did this before for number 6, but I wasn't happy with it. I was getting tired and I had these strategies, I'm like, okay, I did all the right stuff to stay awake, and what happened at minute 34? I fell freaking asleep. Kind of. I kind of fell asleep for like 10 seconds and started talking about a different game while trying to explain Pokemon at the same time. So it didn't work that well. So today I've, I've tried it differently. I'm going to exercise after my recording. Whoa, revolutionary. I won't be as tired. Uh, um, I thought it'd wake me up, and it did wake me up for the first, I guess, 30 minutes. But I went to go longer, and I want this to be a little bit longer tonight. Um, the night is young. 2.20 in the morning. Nice and easy. Let's get this started. Let's just get right into it. It's going to be a drinking game, actually, uh, today. So if we find battles that are under, let's say, 1,300, you have to take a shot. If you find a battle that's over rating 1,300, uh, let's say three shots. Because the li likelihood of you taking one shot is going to be high. So, Code Hour versus Axius76. By the way, go grab the alcohol, pause it right now, and, you know, get your alcohol. Go, go. I'm not condoning that you guys drink a lot, but uh, hey, you know what? This could be fun for you if you're a little stressed out and need a little bit of fun. But Mega Manectric, that's kind of scary. This guy's got a high dragon. Haven't seen that very much this, this uh, gen yet. It's good to see. Himmeltrak! German? Probably. <laughs> Ooh, that was not a good idea. I don't even know what he could have done to a Ferrothorn. I have no idea why he continued to set up. I would get that drink ready. <laughs> Probably should say shot, but I mean, this guy's got... He's got Scarm Bliss. I mean, he's got... He looks like he has a fairly decent team. Um, not too much sweeping potential, though, unless that's got SD on... Um, on the Scizor. I don't know. That's why I never understood. Like, I, I build teams like this, but, you know, it just, you don't get a lot of sweeping power unless you get a lot of momentum and a lot of, ha like, you get a lot of damage with the hazards and make them switch nonstop and make them feel like they're, you know, lost. But anyways, gets the T-Wave off on the Ferrothorn. That's only going to help him with the Gyro Ball. I wouldn't have done that. It's going to make it even stronger. If it can become any stronger than it already is. Um, looking at Axis' team, that's a pretty good team. Like that, that looks like it's got some good coverage, got priority, uh, just got pain in the nuts. Wow, that's a lot of guys. That's just annoying. And I don't know what... Drum... Dum ding. Dum a ding? Dum a dingy? Dum a dingy. Yeah. Go Dower, uh, you need to switch to your... Uh... Skarmory? Scizor. Schnitzel. Oh, Schnitzel. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know what you're gonna do. You got superpower? You could superpower. Or U turn. You could U turn. Talonflame's gonna come in. Mega Scizor are gonna go for the brick break. Whew, that is. I don't even know. Uh, if you have Defog, you have no reason for brick break anymore. Literally, I would just run, you know, superpower and brick break is completely obsolete because Defog. Defog just does it all now. Uh, he's going to send to the Mega Manectric, and because he's got Rocky Helmet, he will not make it up to Sturdy, so he's going to have to go into Blissey. Why not Blissey? You could threat I mean, you can't paralyze him, but... I guess this is a little bit better, but, I mean, you are going to take some fair amount of damage. He goes for the Calm Mind. Ah, you do have Sweeping Potential. It's just not good Sweeping Potential, because... I don't think Latios has a lot of opportunity to really set up. I mean, you're going to take a ton of damage. Well, not a ton, but you're still going to take quite a bit of damage from the HP Ice. So... I don't know if this is the best time to be doing this <laughs> with a Mega Manectric out there. He's gonna switch though, go to Starmie. His Dragon Ball just mutilates the Starmie. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Sexy Drac, sexy Drac. Oh God, I can't speak German. Can you tell? <laughs> uh, this thing most likely has Assault Vest because I actually have a battle. Um, I have some updates. Actually, I'll be saying in between battles, but I had a battle where a guy kept sending in this Conk Helder with Assault Vest. Um, to try and take a hit, but it turned out that, you know, I just had to play it on the physical side. Yep, knock off murder you. That's that's what's going to happen. I mean, you're not going to... That's the Assault Vest. You know, it's, it takes it. And I mean, I'm not saying Assault Vest sucks. It's good. I mean, that's the cool thing about Conk Helder with Assault Vest is it can come in on a special attacker and threaten it with really high power. Like, that's what makes it a good item on it. Um, just that fact itself. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the knockoff makes kind of sense on the slow bro. Uh, could it have been useful? I think so. 
I think you could have. I, you're definitely gonna need. Actually, no, you got. As long as he keeps Talonflame at a decent health, he can probably take out the rest of the team. You just gotta make sure it doesn't take too much recoil damage. Or, God forbid, the Blizzard sets up rocks and then you're really in trouble. Because I don't think Skarmory would have rocks. Unless he's just running rocks and Skarmory would just have rocks. But now the stealth rocks are up on Schnitzel's side. Or, uh, Code Hour, that's fine. Inform people that I think that sleeping is a waste of time. Even though I know it's really good for you! I, I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Apparently as a baby I never slept either. But, you know. That's a side note. No one really needed to know that. <laughs> oh dear. And now I'm looking for a blanket. Is there a blanket down here? What? Uh, we had a blanket down here, and now someone moved it. I don't know. Oh Flame comes in. It's, it's taken a lot of damage. Actually, now that I think about it, I mean, the Leech Seed is probably good to get on it, but it's taken quite a bit of damage. I don't know if we can necessarily sweep everything it needs to kill. It needs to kill the Ferrothorn and the Scizor? I don't know. And it's taking Rocky Helmet damage. I don't know, man. Axis is kind of uh, losing grip on this, but he does have a High Dragon in the back, which he hasn't sent out yet. So... I don't know. Actually, what I'm gonna do... You guys are gonna watch this. Uh, what I'm gonna do... There's nothing incriminating on here, is there? Oh! Okay, so what I'm gonna do... So I'm gonna do this well, we'll get back to it. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't panic, guys. Don't panic. We're just going to load my channel, and we're going to shamelessly advertise ourselves, so, um, yeah. So, apparently Hydragon came in on this Blissey, or Blissey came in on this Hydragon, or we're catching up now really quickly, Toxic's gonna miss with the Ferrothorn, and then all of a sudden, okay, we're back in the battle, let's go. Cool. He's gonna go for the Wish as the Leech Seed gets up. See, that's not good, because now this Leech Seed's gonna heal up the Ferrothorn a lot. He doesn't have anything to kill Ferrothorn, like, he doesn't, he has nothing. That Brick Break's not going to do enough. He's going to take a lot of damage from Rocky Helmet plus Iron Bars plus Leech Seed. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think he's in a great position right now. And by he, I mean Code Hour, which I mean she. Uh, yeah, I don't want to plug. I don't know if they... Can you still kick... I forget if you can still kick Spectators out in this format. I can't remember. But regardless, the Wish is going to go down the Schnitzel. Uh, just because, you know, Schnitzel. There's the Swords Dance. Yeah, I thought so. I thought he'd be the Swords Dance. Well, now, Jarball's not going to do a heck of a lot. So, I mean... I mean, Brick Break, yeah, that could do a fair amount of damage now. Yeah, that's a good amount of damage. He's taken a lot, though. And I don't think... No, he's... Oh, dear. Yeah, if he's gonna take it out, he's gonna either die to Leech Seed. This guy could switch. Oh, I would've switched. Because he... I would... You know what? I would've preserved Ferrothorn and sent in... Uh, that's a good question. I just sent in... You know what? I would've sent in Mega Manetric. Because... Just because, like, think of it this way, right? He has nothing to kill. Uh, no, yeah, he has nothing to kill that thing with. Like, the Slowbro doesn't have Fire Blast. His thing would have walled the rest of his Pokemon. This thing has a Blissey left, so, I mean, Mega Man Extra's not going to be doing much until Blissey's dead, but he has nothing to kill Blissey except Talonflame, which is most likely going to die from Recoil, unless he starts killing them with U-Turns nonstop. So, I don't know, I would have sacked this thing off. Or at least brought it in. If it didn't die, hey, okay. That'd be cool, then kill it, but... It would have died to Leech Seed, regardless. Uh, and it might have lived to plus two, who knows. Focus Blast gets a crit and doesn't kill, because it's a fat frick. It just doesn't die. Fet Wand, I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything, but this is a Wish Protect set. Uh, he's hitting two Focus Blasts, though. That's pretty good. Axis has got his work cut out for him. But, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough, because this fat piece of poop just likes to take it. And, you know, just just deal with it. Yep. He's going to go for Protect. Yep, standard game, people. I would get the drink ready. Get that shot ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's looking like just one for you right now. Ease those stresses away. You know, stressors are just so terrible sometimes. He's just doing a whole bunch of switching, which is strange. Uh, oh. Oh, nice move. Nice move. Wow. He just outplayed that a little bit. Even though the wish went off, it's a nice outplay. Good job, Megamanetra. Good job, Axius. I'm impressed. And I don't know why. Why did you... Oh, no, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, you're gonna go for Wish and Protect again? Can he... Yeah, I guess he can't really kill it. Wow. See, that's weird. That's unfortunate. No, it's not weird. That's just unfortunate. Now, hmm. Does this thing have Roost? I wonder if his Talonflame has Roost. He's gonna predict the Protect and go for Roost? Or is he gonna go for the... Oh, he has Acrobatics. 
Ah, that would explain a lot now. Okay. The enlightenment is here! Oh, excuse me. The enlightenment is here. That's how I understand that. So he's got acrobatics. Which means either he's a magnitude fan, or he fears Brave Bird Recall. And, and basically, yeah, I do too, but, you know. This is weird, because it's like an offensive core versus a defensive core, and the defensive core is winning. I, the Axis is saying GG, because he can't do anything. He hates Blissey. I need a Blissey counter. You had a Blissey counter. It's called Conk Elder. Oh, I can't interact. No interaction. You have a Blissey. It's not even a... Yeah, you have... No, it doesn't. What the heck are you talking about, man? It gets... Plug. I'm plugging right now. I'm in. I'm in. I plugged it. I plugged it. You won't see it, but I plugged it in. <laughs> the channel is in. Oh, boy. And I'll put a smiley face afterwards. <laughs> Shameless advertising? Yeah, I'm not that type of guy, but hey, who cares? It might it might work one day. Who knows? It just might work. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that's disgusting. Um, yeah, I, he had a Blissey counter because Blissey doesn't want to T wave a Conkeldor with guts, and you just punch it in the face and it's dead. What are you talking about? You don't have a Blissey counter. You have Conkeldor that you killed. Foolishly! God! You could have won this. You could have had this, Axius. You, you threw it! You threw it! You should have kept it. See, Ferrothorn would stop literally everything that this guy could have done. Until he got. No, he was paralyzed! He can't even burn it! It would have been GG! All he has to do is keep leech seeding. Yeah, and it's, it's basically it end up stalling. It's the. Ah, I see! Speg of an extra not paying off! Because Hydreigon can take on a Scarberry. Since it doesn't resist steel. It uh, doesn't. Steel doesn't resist dark anymore, he should have sacked it off. Or at least brought it in to take the damage. And then if he didn't die, hey, he would have died the leech seed. So I mean man, now he's gonna lose Talon Flame, he has even less chance of winning. Oh boy. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's I guess maybe he's just trying to waste it, but he's getting healed. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I can't get out of the battle either, which is nice, which means that my channel will be advertised all over Showdown. www.youtube.com slash propokadoo, because why the hell not? <laughs> yes, I just advertise my own subs. Who cares? I don't care. Maybe there are people who are just coming in randomly and are just like, oh, look, a person. And I advertise my channel, even though they should be able to figure out the channel from underneath. But, you know, I, I'm, I really am... I'm, not lost for words, but there's nothing to say here. Like, this man should have kept his Ferrothorn or his Conkelder. Conkelder would have finished this. Oh dear, but he opted to knock off the leftovers off of Slowbro, and I think that might have been a mistake. A little bit of an aggressive play, especially since it could have killed Con this these freaking things. I think it's over. He's gonna have to get High Dragon in, which is toxic. He's gonna have to smash everything with Dark Pulse. That's that's his best bet. But I mean, Tal but then again, he's got Blissey, and he missed. It's not a good start for you. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, he missed twice. That's over. It's game over. No, that's GG. This guy lost it. Axie 76 had it. He had it, but he lost it. That's very unfortunate. But at the same time, could have been completely preventable. 100% preventable. I mean, I could have been wrong. You guys can, you guys can obviously talk about, you know, what I say and stuff like that. I, I'm very for that. But honestly, I think Ferrothorn would have handled this perfectly because can't be static, can't be burned. Nothing's gonna be able to touch it. At least he's just gonna keep healing it up. I mean, you want to stall these guys out, bring in their own game, right? So I don't know what this guy's gonna do. He, he got to get, like, miraculous 70 billion crits, and I think this guy's wasting his time. This guy's got heal bell. Ah, you don't stand a chance, man. Okay, we're just gonna end that there, because, uh, you know, now, now it's just pointless switching. Watch a battle. The battle is here. Jasagara versus Poke Lovell. Poke Lovell. Holy jeez, that is a shiny hair across. Not shiny hair across his giant, but look at that face. Like, all shiny right there. Bam! He's got wax on him. Okay, teams. This man has an Aurorus, and that most likely has snow warning. Or refrigerate, could be. 
Pangoro. Okay, Pangoro. We haven't seen this guy, have we? And that's because he's outclassed completely. Doesn't get a reliable fighting move. Doesn't get close combat. Doesn't get Drain Punch. He gets Sky Uppercut and Storm Throw. And I I'm not bashing Storm Throw. Storm Throw is really good because they buffed it. And the funny thing is, the crits make it so that it goes through defense boosts. Think about that, right? So crits uh, ignore defense boosts. I think it's a really good move on stuff like Throw because... I mean, you can either go for a fighting move, or if you just want to always, you know, go against that that defensive thing, like the, the thing that's the boosting its defenses up, you know, it's you always have guaranteed grits, or something that's really bulky, you always have guaranteed grits, I think it's okay. Unfortunately, Pangoro is very outclassed, also slow, and its typing is fighting in dark, um, which makes it super, 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 super susceptible to the U-turn that is everywhere, so it's not, it doesn't even stand a chance. This guy's running Refrigerate. On his Aurorus, I don't really mind because it, it gets Snow Warning as a hidden ability, but it also gets Refrigerate, which turns normal moves into ice moves and boosts them. Kind of like Aerialite. Aerialite, sorry. Stuff like Aerialite, yeah. So, that's what we're looking at right here. He went for the Ancient Power, which, well, I mean, missed the Frost Breath, that sucks. And I mean, Frost Breath, again, do you want base 90 crits, which makes it a base 135 hit, or do you want a base 135 hit in the form of Ice Beam? Right? That's the thing, right? They're even now, so it's either Ice Beam is the same thing as Fighting Move. Actually, no, it's not. Because Fighting Move's, uh, Close Combat's still stronger, so I guess maybe Frost Breath would be a little bit more um, kind of effective, I guess, than Ice Beam in some situations. Like, if you don't need to really rely on the Freeze, because people keep it for the Freeze. I mean, 10% Freeze is just 10% Freeze, right? Freeze is good. But, I mean, Frost Breath does the same amount of damage and has crits, so if anything tries to buff itself up with Reflect or stuff like that, you're breaking through that. Or not Reflect, Light Screen, because it's special. Right. Yeah, so see how this guy has Calm Minds up? It's breaking through that. He gets crits off. I like that. And it's the fact that it does the same amount of damage as a Stab Ice Beam. That's the cool part. So, I honestly think that's okay. Um, so, consider that. Frost Breath. I mean, it's, it's a nice alternative. Um, to an Ice Beam. Not a big deal. Breaks through stuff like this. Thank God, too, because Reuniclus is a pain in the butt. Anyways, what's he gonna do? Uh, you're gonna go into... You're gonna go into Mawile. Jasagra, you're gonna go into Wawile. Because you're gonna Mega Evolve, you're either gonna Sucker Punch, or... Or... You're gonna go for the Play Rough with Swords Dance. The reason why he's going to go for play rough because he's going to predict the recover on the Reuniclus. Hmm. Or he can go to Diggersby and be f slower, but he can go for the quick attack. Oh, he goes for the ag agility. Oh, my. Oh, dear. I don't know if that's very worth it there, uh, Mr. Diggersby, because he went for the recover. I would have gone into Marwile. I'm just saying. See ya, Pink! Whoa! Whoa, excuse me. See, I predicted the recover, though. Am I good? Oh, I didn't look at the rating of those people! Take a shot! Take a shot! Everyone take a shot right now. Chop, chop. Take them. Take it. Move that stress out. Move it out. Relieve it. It's gonna go for the return, not kill. That's a bad thing. Oh, Psyshock murders the little pedo bunny. That's... that sucks. Um... Yeah, you're losing a lot of Pokemon here for really no frickin' reason. Send in the mother frickin' Mawile. No reason to take that Stealth Rock damage to kill Reuniclus. Not worth it. And you're setting up. Doesn't he have Psy Shock? He's gonna go to the defense. Oh my god, Jasagra, what are you doing? Please. Oh yeah, he's got Sleep Powder. Never mind, I digress. That's cool. I still would've... No, we don't get greedy. Just go to plus two or something and then kill him. Please, 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 please. Please make my day. You're a Venomoth, right? You're you're exactly like Venomoth, just different typing, just, just ugh. And, and stats. So please kill. Okay, good. He killed the Exploit. Sure, he's got a Noivern and an Exploit, which means they both probably have. Yep, they both have Infiltrator. Or he has Scrappy. This guy has Infiltrator. Yeah, you're burned. You're dead. Went for the Hurricane. That's quite a bit of damage actually from Pavilion. Yep, but I mean Noivern's gonna be. I don't know, man. Here comes the Mawile, though. Mawile makes sense. Yep. Mega Evolve and finish this man off. 
<laughs> Excuse me. There you go. Oh, does he go for the roost? He goes for the roost. Impressive play by Poker Lover, but dead nonetheless. Such a sad tale. Such a sad tale. Sucks, but Shuckle's in. Shuckle's OP. I built the double team around Shuckle. Not around Shuckle, but Shuckle's on it, and Shuckle makes it so good. And this thing's going for power split. See, see, this has been popular. This right here. This man has been going for power split for quite some time now. It's 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 interesting, and I th I thought I came up with it, but I mean I I don't think I came up with it, but um, yeah, it goes for infestation. Yeah, that's what I do. I do I do power split infestation, huh? So either I'm thinking like everyone else, or they're thinking like me. I'm gonna say they're all thinking like me because you know it's, it's me, guys. Come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really good because you get to trap something that's really offensive that can't kill you, because well you know. You're a shuckle. And then you steal its attack, so it can't do anything back to you. And right now it's got a little bit of attack, but I definitely want to use a power split again on this thing. But you're not going to live a hit, so, I mean, what's the point, right? Bam, Iron Head, right down. Bam, you're done. I think this guy pretty much loses. Um, he's got a Mega Mawile against a Heracross and a Reuniclus. So... This man's setting up, but you just got destroyed because fighting is weak to fairy. G mata frickin' G. Yep, you're oh you're not dead, but you're about to be. Yeah, you're about to be. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the rating. Twelve hundreds. Ah, Only one drink, people. Shoot him up! Bang! And yummy. Not team build or what am I? What am I doing? It's too easy out here. Bro versus Sithernik. Sithernik. Now, why can't you have a name like this guy? It's too easy out here, bro. Well, he's got a blue team. If it's too easy and he's winning with a bluish team, blueish, sorry, Absol, blueish team, then this guy better kill him. Because this is pretty, uh. Uh. Blue. I'm feeling kind of blue. Just watching it. I will resist the song. Absolutely. Good job. Greninja versus Mew. Taunt anywhere? Taunt on this Greninja? Oh, okay. I was about to say. Does it have that a quick claw or something? But nope. It's faster. It turns to the bug type. Goes for the U-turn. Does a significant amount of damage to Mew. Uh, half would mean most likely that it's... I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna matter. Hmm. 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 Baton pass. Baton pass. Whoop. Baton pass. Okay. What are you gonna put baton pass into? What do you have the baton? Oh wait, no. You've got the. Rock polish, okay. Well, that's a lot of damage for Baton passing uh, an agility to a Tyranitar. Now, if he had actually done this without subbing, because how long has he had this? I don't know, because he rock. Oh no, he rock polished first. Yeah, see, if he had done it without subbing. He would have a little bit more health on his Mew. I don't know. That's a Mega Titar though, and he's gonna kill you with Rock Slide. That's that's the reality of Mega Titar. It's it's a beast. It's got plus three attack right now, and plus plus three speed and plus one attack. Zumero's gonna be able to take a hit though, and go for Aqua Jet, destroy you. But I mean, you know, who was looking at that? Who was thinking about that? Obviously not this guy. Sith Sitheric. Dang it, guy. Dang it. Dang it, Alakazam though. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a Mega Alakazam out. This is gonna be oh no, it can't be because we just have Mega Titar. That's unfortunate, Alakazam. What can you do? Uh, because like honestly, he could die. <laughs> like, why is he coming in? Your best bet was most likely. You have no best. Oh, Ferrothorn. You have a Ferrothorn. This man is not afraid. 
Sithric is not afraid. He might not look like he's got the lead, but he is not afraid. Huh. Come on. Go on, Sithric. Bring out a Pokemon. Do do do. Bam! Oh, we're waiting for the East Too Easy guy. Ay yay yay! Ah, oh, caught me off guard. Plot twist. We come on, people, get straight. Now, now, now. You see, you sent in that Ferrothor a little too late. About. Oh, I don't know. Three, four turns too late. Whatever. It's gonna go for gyro ball. It's gonna do a hefty chunk. It's pretty good. Sizable chunk if I do say so myself. Straight from full down almost half. Makes sense. Makes it the fire type and goes for the HP fire. Wow. Huh. That's a good idea. I just realized that because you know, fair thorns. Um. <laughs> But Dragonite's gonna come in. Extreme Speed is going to kill it. Whoa! That's a strong Dragonite. Um, still could be leftovers, though. Still could be the leftover set. Garchomp. He's gonna be able to do it. Go for the Outrage. No! The. Oh my. Yeah, you have uh, multi skill to deal with. Extreme Speed's gonna. Okay. Yeah. Well, Sisrick didn't think that far through, I guess. Oh dear. Let's go for another one. That's gotta be a banded one, probably. Even the Aqua Jet does not kill. Why'd you go for Aqua Jet? Because he's got extreme speed. Why? You're not gonna speed it. You're down priority and speed. Like you don't you don't stand a chance, and you're going for Aqua Jet yet again. You don't stand a chance. But I mean that's just me. I got Alakazam and Heatran left. Bam! There we go. <laughs> I'll cut some time out there because that was a big pause. That's 1200. Take a shot. Let's get one more. One more. Just to even it off. Hmm. There we go. Sir Pops versus Soda. Sod. Sod. Looks like he's giving the double fingers here. That's okay. Zumro versus Fortress. That's an interesting layup. Oh, Belly Drum right off the bat. Not even caring about the fact that that's probably a Frost Lass with a Focus Sash hanging there. But I mean, hey, who's counting? Who's looking? Obviously not this guy. So it's got a Wobbuffet. Yeah, maybe that's the best idea. But I mean, I mean, not caring is is gonna work. Uh, the play. Why'd you play? What? What? The, what? Why? 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 Oh my god, you just got murdered, Azumarill. I'm not even talking about the fortress. You just got destroyed, Sod. You just lost your Azumarill, ladies and gentlemen. That never, never, never do that. No matter how much damage you potentially can get off in the beginning, it's not worth it. Not even worth keeping for the Aqua Jet, if you have Aqua Jet. Ay, yay, yay, people. I mean, okay. So I'm not the greatest. Okay. So I probably fell asleep part of the way through this recording. Okay, so, you know, stuff. But, uh, no, you don't do that. Oh my god, why are you... Oh my, okay. Uh, this one's gonna be a, probably a double drink. One for you and one for me. Um, unfortunately I only have water. But I mean, hey, you know what? I'm not a big drinker anyway, so water is fine with me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stress-free viewing pleasures of this creeper commentary they have gotten significantly um how you say relaxed because uh there's uh, there's some parts where you could just be like you know this is interesting and then there's some parts where you're kind of going i don't understand why you just went for pedal dance like that type of thing i mean you don't get confused fine you have own temple don't care it's not making much sense here. You know he's gonna pursue. You send that in to begin with. It's just not working out for you. I don't know. 
Ever so. Is it gonna mega? It's gonna mega. Is it gonna kill? Could. It's gonna be really slow though. Not gonna stand a chance against Blissey either. I guess we're about to find out. What are you gonna do? Come on. That U turn did way too much damage. Wow. This is a Celebi. Whoa. As you can. What? Huh? He has Confused Ray. Okay. Sir Pops. Sir Pops. Wow, he just got the hacks. Wow, wow, what? What? Okay, come on, really? Really? Hold on, let's let's be honest here. Can we can we be honest? Like that actually just happened? Huh. Get a second pair of hacks. Get a second confused hacks. Just, just make this night cooler. Make my nights. Nope, you got recovery. You did yeah, you know, so it used to be cool with all the you know, I'm gonna hit myself and I get to rage and stuff like that, but now you just lose the confusion of all things, and he leaf storms a dragon type and gets a crit from the Ampharos. Like, you deserve that crit! But for frickin' leaf storm on a dragon type, you're recovering and you think you're so cool. Really? You're not pulling off much. Best bet? Blissey. You just switch it to Blissey. I don't get you have a Blissey, use it. Just do what the other guy did in the earlier in this uh, creeper commentary. Just, just use your blissy. Use it. Do it. Yeah. Oh my. Please switch the blissy. Perish song. You can switch to blissy now. Is that your idea? You're gonna, or are you gonna just gonna keep recovering? I mean, I, th I mean, at this point, I, he does outspeed, so I mean, this does work. Um, in this case, well, I mean, the Wobbuffet's in. Wobbuffet is in. But I mean, I don't know. It's, uh... it's gonna be tricky there by trying to keep the Celebi in, but he's got the U-turn. Stop this one through. He goes into Blissey, which is not gonna be doing much of any damage, really, um, other than maybe seismic tossing. And even then, if it seismic tosses and it gets countered, it's only 200 damage out of the 703 HP it's most likely running. So. So how you guys doing? How are you doing? Oh my, what's going on here? Come on, people. Finish it. Finish him. Well, that took a long time to click a move. That's not going to do much damage at all. He's going to encore you. That's a good game, Blissey. Goodbye. He's just going to miracle you to nothing. Wow. Well, I guess it's not doing much to the Wobbuffet either. It's just a battle of... Annoying, uh, f annoying, screw you or fat, screw you. It's basically what it is right now. It's annoying versus fat. I mean, it's working beautifully right now because he's whittling down the Wobbuffet with the Reflect Up, and he's about to pull that. Well, you know, he's gonna. Oh, I see. Okay. Amphros! No, why? I'm not gonna do anything to him! Haven't you seen this thing's special defense? Oh my. Eh, see, it doesn't matter. I don't know about all that. I don't know, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't really have much to put behind this. I mean, on top of the fact that, again, once again, I'm really tired. I, I just don't know what to say. I, I... I don't know. Huh. Confuses me. Parish traps me. I don't 
Oh, this could be a long match. Oh boy. Someone's gonna have to teach me about sleep. That's what I think we should talk about. Somebody's to teach me how to sleep because, you know, being exhausted for these recordings just sucks. And gee, a Blissey beat and a Moongus. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, this guy, uh, I don't know, Sir Pops are in a pretty bad position. Blissey once again stops what you have left. So all he has to do, or she, um, is send the Weavile. Send a Weavile. Right? Like, I'm thinking no more game. I don't know why I send a Weavile. Send a Weavile? Send a paramedic for me. Jeez! Send a Weavile. Where did the Weavile come from? Why did I say even... Why did I even say Weavile? Huh? Wow. I mean, it could... No, I can't do that. What am I saying? I was about to say it could turn invisible. No, it can't. What the heck kind of Weavile am I cheating with? I'm not having an invisible turning Weavile. This man just went for Paris Song. Please! Come on! I uh, just, just give up, Sir Pops. You lose. Uh. Oh boy. I don't know. I mean, Blissey just says goodbye. Like, Frostlass, what's he gonna do? Like, take it with it? And then he's got four other folks to take it. Ay, ay, ay. There it is. There's the conceit. No more conceit. Why do I think there was a conceit? Either way, either way I mean, this, this battle's pretty much over. Like, it's, it's over. What's he gonna do? He has nothing to do. Ice Beep, yeah, good job. Ice Beep, that fat mother fricker. Oh, you disabled it. Woohoo, there's just a Wobbuffet left. You can kill everything with a Wobbuffet, right? It only needs to take damage, deal damage. Oh, especially at that HP level. Absolutely, 100%. Go for it. Actually, it's 22%, but the point is. Yeah, I don't know. Take that shot, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy it. I'm gonna end the video pretty much here after this battle is done. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I can fix it up to uh, take out just a long, stalling, no-talking times, because I don't know what else. I, I honestly don't know. Excuse me, I just, I, I don't know what to say at this point. I, I'm, I'm at a loss, and hopefully you've had a few shots by now that makes you feel a little bit more loose and understanding. Plug my channel right there as they actually Sir Pops leaves, and that was 1100. Yep, take that one shot, ladies and gentlemen, of course. Creeper commentaries if you'd like to make this a normal pattern where, you know, one for under 1300, three for over 1300. You could do that with my other previous Creeper commentaries, or you could do it for future ones. You'd probably have a good time every one time one of these came out. And I mean, it's not that frequent. Once a week, not too bad. It's pretty good. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Until then, have an excellent day, and peace.